Hello everyone, uh, this side Dr. Nitin Sharma, Department of Information and Technology, AKT Engineering College. So today I am going to discuss about the introduction of data visualization, uh, simple graph in Python, uh, the using library of Matplotlib and Pyplot. First of all, why we need a data visualization? Data visualization basically it is a graphical representation of the data. Like you, uh, data is available in the row end columns. So it is very difficult if you having you are having a large amount of data to understand what kind of data you are having here. So the best thing is that the data visualization tool provide a way to present these figure and graphs. So through the figures and graph, you can easily understand the data. So <coughs> if you want to analyze a massive amount of information uh, and make the data driven decision. So if you want to make a decision on the basis of given data, you can make a uh, decision on the basis of that particular data through the graphs. So like you can see the example here, like this is the graph, this is also a graph, this is also a graph. So these kind of graph you can create easily in a Python by using Matplotlib library. Okay. So what is Matplotlib? It is basically one of the most powerful tool for data visualization in Python or we can say that it is basically a library which is providing a lot of functions which you can use to develop the or create the graphs. Okay. So it is basically a 2D plotting graph, it is easy to use, provide a huge number of examples to tracking unique problems. Like uh, if you want to create a graph in a bar form or a pie chart or a scattered plot, you can do by using this Matplotlib library. So this is basically the example how you can import this. So by the using of this import keyword, this is the package matplotlib.pyplot and we just give here the alias name that is as plt. So if you want to use any function from this library, you can use plt as a alias name. So plt dot function name, which is basically helpful to create the graph. How it is installed? Uh, you can install by using a pip command. So as you know that the Python is basically providing a pip command to install any packages at any time. So by using uh, on the console, you can just write pip installed and the package name that is matplotlib by the using of this, so you can just install this package on your machine. And after that, you can implement it, this matplotlib library functions. Next, so basically uh, what is matplot is it, it is uh, similar like the matplot uh, matlab file matlab uh, tool. So matplot is also providing the kind of graphs. So all kind of graphs you can create it by using matplot library, right. What are the uh, what are the uh, or what kind of figure you can create it. So you can create a figure, you can plot the area in a figure or either plot some line in the plotting area, decorate the plot with labels headings, etc. A lot of things you can do by using these library that is pyplot. Okay. So type of graph, you can just create a uh, bar chart, line chart, scattered plot, many kind of graph you can create by using this uh, matplot library. Okay. So for example, matplot allow you to make easy things like you can generate a plot graph, histogram, power spectra, bar chart, error chart, scattered chart, or pie chart. So there are many kind of charts are available in a Matplot library with just a few line of code. No need to be code a uh, very much amount of uh, code you can write on your uh, notepad. It is just taking a one or two or three, three, four line and you just give the data and function is automatically generate the graph. Okay. So like you can see, this is the graph. This is basically the line graph. So this is as you know that that's, this is x axis, y axis and this is basically a line. Line is basically showing the data points. So data points are connected through the line here, right. This is basically the histogram graph. You can see here this is the histogram where basically show the distribution of the data. So like dis, uh, data distribution in between this range, like these are the ranges or this is basically called the bins. So through the bins, this this is basically create a histogram. It is uh, show the distribution of the data. And the main thing is that because uh, if you want to create a line graph, you need a two variable like right? x and y value, right? X value and the y value. But in the histogram, you need uh, to take only one variable. Another graph you can see this is a bar chart. So it is also it is look like the histogram, but the major difference is that histogram is taking only a one attribute and it is basically taking the two attribute like x axis and the y axis. Okay. This is again a line graph and these are the basically the turning points and dotted basically represent the connected. Okay. Another is 
uh, uh, if you can see this one is the example which is having a single line if your graph is having a two line so this is basically a two line graph all the examples we are going to discuss here just wait for a minute okay uh, another this is a scattered plot where the data is represented by the dots you can see this shape is you can change like a star or the bubbles or the zero you can just use it and this is basically the also explain the distribution kind of distribution data right another line graph you can see this is basically the wave graph so waves is basically representing here how the waves are working here like so sine or cos these kind of things so first of all i am going to discuss here the line graph so line graph i am just showing with a simple example so here uh, first of all i can just import this library we are just creating a two value because in the line graph we need a two variable x value and the y value so x value i am taking here a uh, just journal values okay it is just for the example so x is the variable we are which we are having here some values y is also we are having here some values so we can just plot so plt plt is basically the alias name and with the help of this alias name we can just write plt the function name is plot and this plot function is taking two argument that is x value and y value and at the end for display the graph you can just call here plt dot show when you are calling this plt dot show so you can see this graph is generated and at any point suppose this is the point so you can see the uh, the value of x is 2 and the value of y is nearby 6 right or or we can say that uh, we can just uh, take here 4 so you can see this is the value 2 or 4 this data point is basically represent that very particular value or another value you can take here like 4 so 4 is this one and if I can write here this one, so 4 and 16, this is approximately 16. So, this data point is represented here. So, through the plot function, you can generate a line graph. Okay, more on line graph. So, you can see here if you are providing a single list uh, array to a plot command, the plot command is assuming it is sequencing over y values, right? So, like we are taking here, so like we are taking here, this is basically the again we are importing the package and plot if suppose i am parting here uh, passing here a single variable that is 1 2 3 4 so what is happening here the math plot assume it is a sequence of y value so automatically automatically generated the x value for you so it is automatically generated the x value on the basis of this is the y value which is giving here right so y value is given here and automatically taking the x and it is generated the graph now you can see one more function i am calling here that is y label right so what y label do y label is basically given a label on the y axis right so if you want to uh, set the label x and y so simply similarly you can write the x label the function is plt dot x label you can set the x label but my point so these are the function you can use here first is x label to x text on the x axis y label x text to the y axis title if you want to set the title like here you can set the title of this graph so you can call the title function clear remove all plot from the axis so like you are having a blank canvas legend is show the legend on the plots so like you are having a for example you can see here uh, in the previous yeah this one so you can see uh, there are two lines so which line is show uh, what kind of data so it is basically show by these points so this is basically come through the legend function so by the using of legend function you can just see all methods are available on Piper on, uh, on the access instance generally. So, you can uh, call from the, you can see from the different sources. There are many more function in a pipe plot, right? Next, one more example I am uh, here. So, in the math plot, pipe plot as PLT. So, you can see I am having here two array, y1 and y2, which is initially blank. And I am just creating a x axis. x axis basically starting from the minus 100 to 100 and the difference is 10 you already know about re what range function do range function is basically create a sequence from the starting point to the end point with the difference of this one with the taking of these steps so what uh, i am doing here i am writing a loop for i in x and y this list is appending with the positive values and here is appending with the negative values right so this is basically generating the y1 and y2 two arrays here so what i am doing here a uh, one plot is created with y1 another plot is created with y2 so you can see here this negative values is basically generated this x1 x and y1 and this is basically generating the x and y2 right the upper graph is basically the positive graph so positive graph is generated through this 
and this one is basically the negative value so this is basically generated by this one so we can say that this is x oh sorry yeah x comma y2 and this one is basically x comma y1 so this is basically the graph right so we plotted we just give the labels ylm is basically set the limit minus 2000 to 2000 so this is basically the limit so minus 2000 to 2000 if you want to set the limit by using this ylm function and at last i just want to draw the line so ax axis horizontal line ax h4 horizontal line ax v4 vertical line so this is way we just uh, draw these line so this one is a horizontal this one is the vertical line this is basically draw by using these functions and the last I just want to save this image, save this image. So you can just call save fig and the, you are just giving the function, uh, the image name with dot PNG file. So it is saved in the current directory where you are working on currently, right? If you want to save in a, another place, you can just give the directly path. So it is automatically saved to, to the particular place, right? Now plot. Uh, basically, this function is basically having no written values. It is just performed it. It is generate the graph if you want to show. So, you can just call plt.show function. That is it. Okay. Simple line function. So, simple line simply you can use the plot function. Uh, more function is there. Every Everything is I, uh, I already told you. Only one function that is title. Title you can see there. My first graph title is here. So, you can just write plt.title. You can write here my first graph. Okay. All the things I have already discussed in the previous one. Another suppose in the graph, if you need to do a two line, so we need x1, y1. So we can just draw plot first plot, and the label is line one. Why I'm giving here label for the legend? Okay, you can just see here. Another is x2, y2. I can just write plt dot plot, and label is line two. X label, y label. I am setting here. I'm already discussed title plt dot legend. What legend do? Legend is basically do this one. What are the label you are giving at the at the time of when you are creating the graph so whatever label you are giving the label is representing through the this legend function so legend is basically showing that which line is representing by which uh, graph okay so like when i am creating x1 y1 i am just writing here line 1 when i am using x2 y2 i am writing here line 2 so line 1 is basically a green color so green color line is representing a line 1 which is creating by using array x1 and y1 got my point and the uh, plt dot legend is basically used for representing this thing and that last plt dot show okay now customization of plot so you whenever you are creating a, pl a plot simple line plot it is basically draw the simple line if you want to uh, beautify or you can just add some features in this particular line you can use by another parameters like you can see one by one so this is the graph okay I am setting here, uh, all the things are, uh, you are already aware about x label, y label, title, show, y lim, x lim. So, y lim is 1 to 8, x lim is 1 to 8. So, limit is already set. Main point is this, customization of the plot function. So, first is color green. So, the color of this particular line is green. What line style you are uh, trying to draw here? That is dashed line. So, the line is dashed line here line width is 3 so the width of line is 3 if you want to change either 1 or 2 or 4 5 6 whatever width you can give here line width is 3 marker is o small o marker is small o this is the marker basically these are the marker so whenever your line is uh, moving from one place or we can just twist at any place so it is basically marked by using small o got my point marker face color so marker face color is blue i am setting here blue so either you can choose any color and marker size is 12 so this size is 12 if you, suppose you want to draw this size this big size it is taking almost i hope 50 right so this is the way you can just beautify or you can customize this plot function okay so what plot function is having some attribute attribute are having basically some by default values like line style is equal to line line width is equal to one marker size is equal to two mark a face color is equal to uh, black and the color the line color is black right uh, sorry big, uh, blue so these are the by default values if you are going to update so it is automatically reflected in the graph bar graph so now we have to understand bar graph so we, here we also need a two values that is x and y so x is basically representing a name and y is representing the values 
okay so these are the two variable i can just value as a y and this is basically the x right and the function is bar here you can pass the x value that is a name a y value that is value and color color is also an optional uh, value parameter either you can pass if you are uh, not give here the color it is automatically taking the blue color okay so color is green and the x and y plt dot show so automatically you can see this is the bar graph okay so you can see a is 5 so you can see a is 5 right and if I can see one uh, B, C, D, D value is 7. So, D value you can see here 7. Okay. So, this is the way you can just create the bar graph. Okay. Another example is that yellow green color, yellow green color, you can see the only the color is changing here. Okay. So, there are so many colors, either you can pass the hash value or the predefined uh, the text color in the pie plot. One more example is pie chart. Uh, you can see this is basically the x, this is basically the y, this is x. Okay. So, here I am taking C1 and C2. So, basically we are going to define here color. So, multiple color I am defining here. C2 is equal to B, B and the G, two parameter pass here, bar, x and y I am passing here, height, width is 0.8. So, this width is basically, this one is basically the 0.8 got my point. So, this width size is 0.8 and the color is C1. So, what is basically do? Color is basically taking from the C1 color. So, like one time it is taking a uh, red color then green. So, red, green, red, green, red, green. This is the way they, they are generating the bar. All the other parameters I am already discussed. All the other parameters are same basically in all the graph like X label, Y label, title. These are the common function which you can use in all the graphs. Okay, histogram. Histogram is also similar to the uh, this bar graph. You can see here the designing is same, but the matter is it is taking only one variable. So I am taking here the age. So suppose I am having a company and the company there are so many employees. I just want to know the distribution of that particular uh, employee on the basis of age. So on the basis of age, so we are having here only one parameter that is age. So, range is 0 to 100, bins is 10, bins, I just want to create a total 10 bins and age is basically starting from the 0 to the 100, okay. And the function is hist, all the other function you already know that. So, it is taking only the one parameter that is ages, that is compulsory, all the other functions are basically the optional, but you can just understand what kind of things are here going on. So, ages is basically the, this list is taking as a parameter. How many bins you want to be created here? So, I just give here 10. So, total 10 bins are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, in the ninth bin, they are having a no values, but it is still showing here the places of ninth bin, 9 bin. Okay. Range. Range we are taking here 0 to 100. I have already told you that. Color is taking a green. Histotype is bar. So, either you can create a bar or another histogram type. And the row width is, that width is basically, this width is, 0.8. Got point. These are the parameters you can just pass here. So, through this you can just show the histogram graph. Now, another example you can see here, uh, what basically is here, right. Here you can see there is one parameter that is alpha which is 0.5. It is an argument that display the level of transparency of the data points. So, transparency is basically to transfer from one place, uh, one bins to the another bin, right. So, all the things are same here. So, like bins are basically, it is an argument specified to the histogram and allow the user to customize how many bins they want. So, how many bins you want? So, you either 10, either 5, either 7, you can just pass here. Alpha is equal to 0.5, it is basically show the level of transparency. That is it. A scattered plot, it is also basically the show the uh, distribution of the data, just like the histogram, but it is basically working in between two variables like x and y variable. So, these are basically the x value and y value is through the scattered function. Here we call that scattered function. You can pass here x value and y value. S is equal to 30. So, basically what 30 do is basically taking the uh, maximum uh, points are there here and the color is blue. So, the, uh, the dotted points are basically representing by which color that is blue. So, through this you can use uh, by the using of a scattered function, you can just create a scattered plot, right. Another example we can take here. So, like an, uh, x and y, another two values here, x and y label is I am representing here stars and color is green, marker is star, right. 
सो लाइक यू कैन सी हियर सो मार्कर इज स्टार एंड थ्रू द लीजेंड फंक्शन इट इज बेसिकली शोइंग हेयर एंड एक्स एक्सेस एंड वाई एक्सेस आर हेयर राइट सो दिस इज द वे यू कैन जस्ट ऑल्सो चेंज द पैटर्न दिस इज बेसिकली द बाई डिफॉल्ट पैटर्न दैट इज बाई डिफॉल्ट शेप That is in a circle form. If you want to change, you can just use here like marker. Which marker you are using to uh, point the data point, right? So I am using here star. So you can either you can you place by the hash because it is a string. So you can just pass any special character here, like the dollar whatever you want. Pie chart. It is also a uh, most important part of the. <sighs> Again, you can see activities. So there are uh, four kind of activities I am taking here. Okay, and you can see through the legend I can show this one. so this is the slices so slices basically 3 7 8 9 and the color i am using here red yellow green blue it is also represented by the small, uh, first character like r y g v pie chart so first we are passing here the data that is slices okay then we are passing the label label is activities what are the activities are there okay color is equal to color so colors is already defined here these four color are taken here starting Start angle that is 90. Okay, so 90 angle we are giving here. Shadow is equal to true. Uh, so shadow is equal to if, if shadow is equal to false. So there is no shadow, and you can see the little bit shadow is show here. So uh, if you want to show the shadow in a graph, you can just pass here true. Explode is equal to basically he, we have to pass here 0, 0, 0.1 and 0. So what basically do? If you can see the three values are zero. So three are basically the connected each other and uh, this one is basically having a difference that is 0.1 which is i am giving here right radius is 1.2 so the radius you should this is basically the center point and radius you should given here that is 1.2 and the auto pct basically it is representing a value how many percentage are the, uh, the value of that particular slice and the float format f so you can see this is 29.2 33.3 so this is basically floating wave if you want to uh, represent here you can use this attribute okay and the finally you can call the legend so legend is basically show the these things right so basically it is representing by red color and red color is basically having a 12.5% activities right so this is the way you can just see the pie chart plotting curve uh, plotting curve of a given equation so suppose you are having a equation so you can call here the numpy for the mathematical calculation for the mathematical calculation x is equal to arrange we just arrange a 2 into np dot pi basically it is basically the 2 pi right and the distance is 0.1 right so sine function we are working here it is basically arranging the range okay so Uh, that particular range function uh, whatever range is generated by a range function it is stored into the x and the value of x is in pass the sign and when i am creating here plot x y so range through the sine values uh, it is basically generate a sine wave you can see here right so this is the way you can just uh, curving the plot by using the sine cos tan functions okay so this is basically the basic uh, functions in a matplotlib you can read more and found how you can create more colorful detailed and vibrant graphs right there are lot more graph available in a matplotlib library as well as the other popular library available in python like the cbond okay so like the cbond is a library which is also providing the multiple uh, kind of graphs here okay so these are the references you can use it you can just uh, read through the these reference uh, these websites is these all other the references if you want to show these videos and books and matplot library you can read from through the this link okay so enough for today in the next class we discuss more about the tkent thank you